Today, I'm going to be simulating the entire career of Matthew Nyes, who was playing some great hockey for the Toronto Maple Leafs before Sam Bennett thought he was fighting for the UFC championship. We are going to be throwing him on the first line with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. And he is actually in the game. He's just missing a profile picture, so I did not have to create my own version of him. As for the rest of the team, I think this is the best way to put them together. And I'm running the exact same defensive formation that they're running in the playoffs right now, but instead of Hall, we got Muzzin. Year number one, Toronto would finish with a 48 29 and 5 record earning 101 points finishing fifth in the entire league with knives on the first line at a 78 overall not doing too bad 12 goals 17 assists for 29 points Connor mcdavid would lead the entire league in points with 113 while it would be matthews leading the league in goals with his 54 he was the only 50 goal scorer in the entire league well i've seen this one a lot of times in my lifetime and it never ends good Toronto in the first round against Boston in game seven. Well, this reality is somehow worse than those. Toronto would win against Boston in game seven, but would lose in the second round to the Ottawa Senators in five games, as the Carolina Hurricanes would beat the Vegas Golden Knights in seven games to lift the Stanley Cup. Connor McDavid is your regular season MVP. Adam Fox wins the James Norris. Levkowski is your rookie of the year. Alnachis is your playoff MVP. Georgiev wins the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Year number two, the team finishes with a 42, 29, and 11 record, earning 95 points for 12th in the entire league. Nice had 12 goals, 26 assists for 38 points. We have the same leaders once again, McDavid leading the league in points with 115, and Matthews once again leading the league in goals with his 59. EA really seems to be on board with the new meme being Toronto losing in the second round as they beat Florida in round one in six games but then lose to the Stanley Cup champions, the Buffalo Sabres, in the second round in five games. Buffalo would beat Edmonton in six games to lift the Stanley Cup. McDavid would capture back-to-back -back regular season MVPs. Adam Fox captures back-to-back -back James Norris trophies. Shane Wright is your Rookie of the Year over Bedard, and I'll show where he's playing in a second. I thought I was going to show you here, but apparently Shane Wright better, according to EA. Log Giroux on the Buffalo Sabres is your playoff MVP. Georgiev wins back-to-back -back Veznas, while Spencer Knight wins the William M. Jennings Trophy. The simulation is in a slightly better timeline for Bedard as he'd be playing for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And not a bad rookie season by the looks of things. Year number three, Toronto misses the playoffs with a 40, 34, and 8 record, earning 88 points, finishing 18th in the entire league. Nyes would score 15 goals and 24 assists for 39 points, while Matthews would obviously lead the team in points and goals. He had 96 points and 55 goals. David Pasternak would lead the entire NHL in points with 123, while it would be Nikita Kucherov leading the league in goals with 64. Nyes moves up one overall, now up to a 79. I'll take baby steps right now. And the Edmonton Oilers are your Stanley Cup champions after beating the Carolina Hurricanes in seven games in the finals. Pasternak would win regular season MVP. Adam Fox repeats the James Norris trophy. McDavid is your playoff MVP. Freddie Anderson on the St. Louis Blues wins the Vesna trophy while Ottinger wins the William M. Jennings. Year number four, Toronto back in the playoffs, finishing with a 49, 30, and three record, earning 101 points, finishing fifth in the entire league. And Nyes gets his first 20 goal season. He'd score 20 goals and 28 assists for a total of 48 points. And dominant season for Matthews, 64 goals, 111 points, leading the team in both categories. Matthews would also lead the entire league in points and in goals. Not that it even matters as Toronto would lose to Tampa Bay in six games in the first round and the Colorado Avalanche would beat New Jersey in the finals in five games. Matthews wouldn't even win the Hart Trophy with that performance. Adam Fox takes it home, as well as winning his fourth consecutive James Norris Trophy. Nico Rantanen is your playoff MVP. A Vesna Trophy win for Igor Shosturkin. Year number five, Toronto would finish with a 47-30-5 record, earning 99 points for sixth in the entire league. And Nyes would not score 20 goals again this season, but he'd have 17 goals, 48 assists for a total of 65 points. And he's up to an 81 overall, so he's making progress. And I don't really have to show this because you already know, but Matthews led the team in points and goals. He had 112 points and 67 goals. He wouldn't lead the league in points. That would be Nikita Kucherov with 114. He would lead the league in goals. No one else had 60. And Toronto once again cannot get out of the first round. They would lose to the Montreal Canadiens in six games. And the Edmonton Oilers would beat the Boston Bruins in the Stanley Cup Finals in seven games to lift the Stanley Cup. Nikita Kucherov would win regular season MVP. No 5 p for Adam Fox in the James Norris category. Kale McCarr is your winner this year. McDavid is playoff MVP, while Bennington would win the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Year number six, Toronto would finish with a 42, 31, and 9 record, earning 93 points, finishing 12th 
in the entire league. Now he scored 17 goals, had 47 assists for 64 points. Definitely trending upwards. He's at an 83 overall now. Johnny Gaudreau would lead the entire NHL in points with 117, while Pasternak would lead the league in goals with 71. And not another person even scored a 60. Bedard was second in the league though with 58. The Sims are starting to feel like a broken record. Toronto will lose in the first round, getting swept by Montreal. Montreal going pretty far. Either way, the New Jersey Devils would end up winning the Stanley Cup, beating Edmonton in six games in the final. Finals. Johnny Gaudreau would win regular season MVP. Adam Fox claims yet another Norris trophy. It's actually getting ridiculous at this point. Jack Hughes is your playoff MVP. Well, Gustafson would win the Vesna and Sorokin would win the William M. Jennings. Year number seven, we're looking at a 44, 29 and nine record for Toronto. They are 97 points to finish sixth in the entire league. Well, now I thought it would be funny if he got 17 goals, 47 assists, and 64 points all over again and remained at an 83 overall. Matthews would lead the team in points with 117 and score 64 goals to also lead the team. And he would lead the league in points and in goals as well. Toronto making history today, beating Boston once again in game seven of the first round, but they would once again come up short in the second round, losing to Washington in six games, with New Jersey winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cups, beating the San Jose Sharks in five games in the finals. Someone explain to me how Mitch Marner won regular season MVP when Matthews led the league in points and goals. I feel like it should be automatically Matthews if it's going to be a Toronto Maple Leaf. Now we're getting to this point in the simulation. I have no idea who that is or if I'm supposed to know who it is. He did win the James Norris. Timo Meyer winning playoff MVP, while Swayman, who is now a member of the St. Louis Blues, wins the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. Year number eight, the Toronto Toronto Maple Leafs to finish with a 47 29 6 record, earning 100 points, finishing fourth in the entire league. The team's been doing great in the regular season, but it doesn't matter come playoff time. It sounds familiar. Either way, Nice has a pretty bad season compared to his others 14 goals, 20 assists for 42 points. And it would finally be Nathan McKinnon leading the league in points. He's been having an off day for once. While Matthew's 69 goals was good enough to lead the entire league. Our playoff struggles continue. We would lose to the Florida Panthers in seven games in round number one, and the Montreal. Canadians would beat the Anaheim Ducks in six games to lift the Stanley Cup. Nathan McKinnon grabs his first regular season MVP of the day. Out of everyone in the National Hockey League in the great year of 2029-2030, Tony D'Angelo is somehow your James Norris Memorial Trophy winner. I do not believe this. Slavkovsky looks to be developing just fine as he would win Playoff MVP for Montreal. Year number nine, the Toronto Maple Leafs would miss the playoffs, finishing with a 43, 36, and 3 record, earning 89 points, finishing 18th in the entire league. Nice is declining now instead of going upward. 16 goals, 22 assists for 38 points, and he's down to a fourth line forward and an 80 overall. Austin Matthews would lead the entire league in points, while it would be Nikita Kucherov now on the New York Islanders, leading the league in goals with 66. And the Columbus Blue Jackets and Connor Bedard have won the Stanley Cup, beating the Vancouver Canucks in six games in the finals. Jack Eichel is your regular season MVP. Kale McCarr wins the James Norris Trophy. Connor Bedard is playoff MVP. Year number 10, the Toronto Maple Leafs are back in a playoff spot, finishing with a 46, 31, and 5 record, earning 97 points, finishing 12th in the entire league. Matthew Nyes would have another 20 goal season under his belt. He wouldn't pass 20 goals yet, but also have 17 assists for 37 points. And I feel like he's stuck at an 80 overall forever, which is not good. And it would be Brat, Larkin, and Dreisaitl all tying to lead the league in points with 110, while Patrick Laine on the San Jose Sharks now would lead the league in goals with 58. Speaking of the San Jose Sharks, they would lose to your Stanley Cup champions, the Washington Capitals, in the finals in seven games. Winning a Stanley Cup without Ovechkin, Leon Dreisettle would win regular season MVP. Hale McCarr grabs another James Norris trophy. He won two in a row. Samuelson would win the Conn Smythe trophy, whoever that is. Spencer Knight winning the Vesna trophy now on Carolina, while Brigley would win the William M. Jennings Trophy. Who the heck is Brigley? Year number 11, the Toronto Maple Leafs finished with a 50, 26, and 6 record, earning 106 points, finishing third in the entire league. Nyes is recovering point-wise. He'd finish with 50 points. He had 14 goals and 36 assists. Rem Pitlick out here balling with 33 goals. Natchez leading the entire league in points with 111 while Austin Matthews, 57 goals, would tie in with McKinnon to lead the league. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are one goal away from moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time today. They're in game number five of the conference finals against the Carolina Hurricanes. This is not good. What a save. I'm pretty sure we have Wallstead in net now. Elander finds Morgan Riley with space. Finds Marner. There it is to Austin Matthews, who makes it snappy. And they're moving on to the Stanley Cup Finals. And we all know he will not be touching the trophy because they did not 
have the budget to make an animation where they touch it. Toronto season on the line, game number five, Stanley Cup Finals action against the Nashville Predators. Either Toronto will win their first Stanley Cup since 1967 or Nashville will win their first Stanley Cup ever and Morgan Riley with the clutchest goal of his career. Gonna steal game five and force a game six. Game six, first period, one to nothing Toronto. Second period, one to nothing Toronto. Nashville would tie it immediately in the third period. Next goal probably wins and it's Rem Pitlick. And then Matthews right after, we might be getting a game seven. Yeah, we're getting one for sure. Matty Nyes, Barry's one. It's his simulation. That's huge. And we are going to game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. Period number one, one to one. Period number two, two to one Toronto. Rem Pitlick MVP. Let's go. And Gothier makes it three to one to open up the third. It's looking really good. It was three to one Nashville. What happened? But we're winning three to one right now. I shouldn't get too cocky. Drops Toronto 37 seconds away from completing the three to one comeback. And there's a big pass and they score. It's gonna happen. Cormier, his fourth goal of the playoffs, puts them up by two with 30 seconds remaining. And with time winding down, the Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions, completing the three to one comeback down in the series. Mitch Marner is playoff MVP. He wins the Conn Smythe Trophy. Captain Morgan Riley will start it out with the handshake to fake Gary Bettman. Skate away with the hardware. I'm interested to see who he chooses to pass it out to. Yeah, Nyes isn't even on the list, so he will not be passing it to Nyes. Gotta talk about the fact that Rem Pitlick scored 11 goals, which was second on the team, which is crazy. Nyes not doing anything spectacular. Four goals, eight assists for 12 points in his 21 games played, but he did win the cup, which is huge. Connor McDavid would grab regular season MVP, while Kale McCarr grabs his third James Norris trophy in a row. Mitch Marner, as we already saw, won the Conn Smythe. Wallstead would win the Vesna, while Sorokin, now in Colorado, would win the William M. Jennings. And I almost forgot, here's a look at the entire playoff tree for those who care. Year number 12, shaping up to be a fun one. We would finish first in the NHL with a 52, 25, and 5 record, earning 109 points, and you'll never guess who the team signed in the offseason. Mr. Connor Bedard himself has joined the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's a very huge as Matthews and Marner are running out of gas. And I think uh, Nylander already retired or just didn't sign back. I'm also really glad that we won the cup last season because Morgan Riley is now 40 and scratched because he's a 78 overall. And Bedard had 91 points and Nyes had 43. He had 19 goals and 24 assists. And as you might have seen, he's up to an 81. He's moving up again, positives. Vikingstad, the Chad would lead the league in points with 115 while it would be Isaiah Wells leading the league in goals with 61. Who? Toronto will be entering game seven of the conference finals, looking to go to the Stanley Cup finals in back-to-back -back season. They're up against the Washington Capitals. First period, it's a two to nothing. Washington lead, but hold the phone, a three goal. Second period puts Toronto up by one and they would score again. And it looks like they will be moving on to the Stanley Cup finals for two years in a row unless they do a mega choke, which is kind of their thing, I won't lie. It's not gonna happen though, it's five to two, the game would end five to three, we're going to the finals. Well, back-to-back -back game sevens in the Stanley Cup Finals for Toronto, well, this one have the same outcome as last year. Period number one, no score. Period number two, three to nothing Toronto. But Dard and Nyes both scoring. Toronto Maple Leafs are going to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups unless San Jose can score five goals in 10 minutes. I guess they only need four. It's still not going to happen. Toronto beating Tampa Bay in the first round in six games, beating Buffalo in five games in the second round, and as we saw, beating Washington in seven games, as well as beating San Jose in seven games in the finals to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cup. And the Bedard signing may have been the difference. He led the team in playoff points with 35, while Matthews led it in goals with 17. Nyes, 18 points. He had six goals, 12 assists. Not a bad performance at all. Work would win regular season MVP. Makar wins a fourth James Norris trophy. No one is touching him. Funny, because it's the second person to win four in a row this simulation. Arner wins back-to-back -back Conn Smythe trophy. While not Andrew Raycroft, Andrew Rycroft wins the Vesna trophy. Trophy. Year number 13, Toronto finishes fifth in the entire league with a 50, 26, and 6 record, earning 106 points. Nyes would score 14 goals, have 39 assists for 53 points, while Bedard would lead the team in points and goals with 103 points 
and 46 goals. The three-peat is on the line. Game seven of the second round against the Buffalo Sabres. Let's see what happens. Period number one, one to nothing Buffalo. Period number two, three to two Toronto. I'm pretty sure Buffalo has a way better team as they score. And as you can see, the shots are 43 to 26 Buffalo right now. If we win this game, that's highway robbery. Anything can happen. Maddie Nyes, the man of the hour, makes it four to three. Four minutes remaining, three, two, one. And the Toronto Maple Leafs steal game seven of the second round. I'll move on to the conference finals. I mean, what are the odds Toronto can win three? stanley cup final game sevens in a row probably not high but let's see what happens period number one tied one to one matthew scoring for toronto period number two tied two to two matthew scoring again 37 year old matthews wants this three peat and the team's getting outplayed but it's a matthews hat trick to take the lead are they gonna do it are they gonna steal another game away this time in the biggest game they are not gonna get it for free wallstrom ties it and dan Dano will take the lead but Hernan what is going on i'm gonna lose my voice hernandez ties it are we going to overtime hey we're going to overtime game seven Stanley Cup Finals, let's do this. Still in the power play, which makes me very nervous. If Zegras hits a Michigan, I'm deleting my channel. Olsen, oh my God, I'm scared. What is happening? What is going on right now? The broken stick playing better defense than Justin Hall. Get in there, Bedard, go! Connor, Bedard to Nice, no! He still has it, Matthews. It's not Matthews anymore. They can't bury Nice fighting, fighting for that puck. The grind, the grit. There it is. Oh my God, this is insanity. Tell me that was interference. What a dumb penalty. And it's obviously gonna cost. There, Olsen, Segris, Wallstrom. Olsen scores! No, not the Olsen twins. It had to be them. And the heartbreaking defeat in overtime, the penalty costed and Toronto will not be getting the three-peat. Toronto beating Boston in the first round of six games, beating Buffalo in seven, sweeping the Rangers in the conference final to lose in seven in the Stanley Cup Finals. Paige Thompson was your regular season MVP. Hale McCarr did it. He won five James Norris trophies in a row. His entire name is the previous winner section now. Looks pretty crazy to me. The Olsen twins grab the Consmice trophy. Wang gets the Vesna and the William M. Jennings. And in year number 14, Toronto finishes sixth in the entire league with 103 points, a 48, 27, and 7 record. Now he's sitting on 81 overall, 12 goals with 31 assists for 43 points. And Andrew Olsen haunts my nightmares now, bro. 124 points to lead the league, while Rantanen and Nod Miko would score 71 goals to lead the league. For the fourth year in a row, the Toronto Maple Leafs are in the Stanley Cup Finals. The problem is they're down three to one. But the first cup they won, they were down three to one. So maybe this is a good omen. Game number five, period number one, two to nothing Dallas. Yeah, this series is not over. Hold the phone. I saw they had Brady Kachuk, Marner and Hernandez will tie the game going into the third. A three to one, it's over. A five to three Dallas win. Toronto beat Connor Bedard's draft team in Columbus in seven games in the first round. Beat Ottawa in the second round. Beat the Rangers in the third round, only to lose in five games in the final. Olsen would win regular season MVP. El Makar is finally dethroned for the James Norris Trophy. Wyatt Johnson would win the Conn Smythe Trophy, while Mickelrath would win the Vesna and Kamasarek would win the William M. Jennings. Year number 15, the Toronto Maple Leafs are back in the playoffs with a 44, 33, and five record, earning 93 points, finishing 14th in the entire league. And now is his best season yet, at least in goals scored, 24 goals, 30 assists for 54 points. But um, he's running out of steam. He's down to a 77 overall and his potential is AHL top six forward. That's a yikes. We're at the point where I don't even know if I should look at the leading goal scorers and point totals because we're not gonna recognize any of them. Crooks led the leading goals with 64. All right, I guess I'm lying. Cole Caulfield 
led the league in points with 122. Well, ever since The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania, I knew that all streaks must come to an end. And Toronto's streak of making it to the Stanley Cup Finals ends at four as they'd lose to Boston in the first round. And the Philadelphia Flyers are your Stanley Cup champions as they're beating the Vegas Golden Knights in seven games. I really think I saw that Vegas was winning the series three to nothing. So that's a heartbreaker for them. Old Caulfield wins regular season MVP. Pettinger wins the James Norris Trophy, everyone's favorite player. Conn Smythe goes to Sveshnikov, who's now on Philadelphia. Ludwig would win the Vesna Trophy, as well as the William M. Jennings Trophy. The Toronto Maple Leafs are once again your Stanley Cup champions after beating the Nashville Predators 4-2 in the finals. Matthew Nyes has decided to go out on a high note. He's retiring at age 35. He played 1,312 games for 263 goals and had 504 assists for 767 points, which means he had 0.58 points per game. Not an amazing career, not breaking any records. He didn't win any awards, nothing like that, but he did win three Stanley Cups, so he's not going to be complaining. He can block out all his haters by putting two of his rings in his ears and still wearing a third. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.